Unbelievable! Hi. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Go ahead and finish your business, bro. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Aria. And we're still playing as, uh... Go to the toilet. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect for... For a big chubby fat man with doge on his shirt. And, uh, what is that? Is that the half-headless guy? What is that? Oh. Oh. Um. Yikes. Um. Okay, I have my flashlight again. That's locked. Of course it's locked. What are you? Ah. Creepy violin stuff, that's what you are. A newspaper article saying, Today the local police released the body of the motorcyclist who died last night in a crash outside of Bangkok. When the police arrived at the scene, the wreck was found of a red motorcycle in close proximity with the deceased body of the teenage driver. In their initial statement, the police revealed the body was found with the top of top half of his head missing. Oh, that's a guy. That's the guy that was down the hall. The driver's identity remains a mystery as no relative has come forward to claim the body. And apparently in Thailand, identification is not required to drive a murder cycle. Oh, hi. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Go ahead and finish your business, bro. Uh I feel bad now. It's probably very difficult for him to concentrate when he needs to. Oh, more evidence. Oh, it's more of the story. That's a boat. That's a picture of a boat. I like boat. The son took a fisherman's boat to sea and left the shore soon after. When the shore had long since faded from view, the boat ceased to work, leaving the son and his companions stranded on the boat. Ha! Karma's a bitch, ain't it? You dickhole, being a jerk to your own father. He's gonna be in there trying to take a poo again, isn't he? No. Okay. Should I take a poo? Please come again. I'm sorry. Um, and we're getting progressively closer to. That's something you want to see in a hospital. We're getting progress. If I could speak, progressively closer to that dangerous arcing electricity. That's... Of course we have to... He said... The objective was to get to the toilets. He didn't say it had to be the men's toilet. Did it? For all the talk about... Oh, 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 oh! No! That was not my intention! I find it amusing that this, uh, bookie or whatever... The jackass putting us up to this stunt is going to wipe away all of our debt, I guess, for for something a college student would do as a prank or initiation into a frat. Oh, I see. I'm so dumb. That's water there. And I can... That... If I hug the... Nope, 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 nope! Damn it! I got electrojuiced. So, my... 
my knowledge of history is a l is very lacking, I'll admit. Is Thailand another country that Britain tried to uh, control and taught English to? Because everyone who's had a speaking role sounds English. You know? Hmm. Oh, you shut up. Wait, what? Nope. Maybe there's a key over here somewhere that I missed the first two times? Because I want to get in there for something. That! That's what I want to get in for. You know, I actually never went in here. So... Oh, look, a key! I should have gone in here. Alright. Nurse station key, which I need to unlock that door to get rid of the electricity that juices me so hard. Okay. So, now that I have that and I can unlock the door, get ready to be terrified by something else about to jump at me for... God knows what reason. So now that I won't be electrojuiced, we can go into the toilet, get the shit scared out of us, and... Oh, it's way darker in here than than it looked before. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, he said there was a book on the Okay, it's uh, there's a page on the sink. What are you? Key Zone B. You mean Zone B Key? Zone B? Zone B? No, we're dealing with ghosts. And you're an object. Okay. Look for a ceremonial candle and incense to start the... Oh, are you kidding me? No. I'm not a fan of this at all. I I agree with Fat Doge Boy. Debt be damned. I don't want to do any kind of stupid ritual. That is all kinds of the dumb. Listen to me and Ronnie Radke. Don't mess with Ouija boards. Okay. Hopefully I'm going the right way. That's locked. Zone B. Am I going to know it when I see it? Maybe. Maybe it's this. Not this way, because that's the elevators. Maybe it's this way. Pretty sure, because reasons. Oh, that's nice and bright. We have lights. That's that's pleasant. And a page that's going to probably shriek in a, in a horrifying violin manner. Oh, it's so, it's such lovely print. Suddenly I can stationary. That's the word I was looking for. Oh. Nothing ominous about this, I guess. For a few days now, I've 
been in this hospital. Having to stay overnight in those hospital rooms with other patients was bad enough. Now I have to stay longer. That old guy I saw sleeping two beds down looks like he's been here forever. That scary feeling I get just thinking about that look he gave me makes my makes the hair in my neck the hair in her neck okay so she has an ingrown hairs great stand on end it's even worse that he has that oh really it's even worse that he has that tracheotic I know the word I can pronounce it, apparently just not right now. It's even worse that he has that tracheotomy tube. The sounds coming from his breathing don't sound good. Well, if you had a tube in the, in the middle of your neck to breathe out of, you'd have a hard time too. It'd be very phlegmy and gross. You have to clean those out with a Q-tip. I've seen the commercials. They don't smoke campaign commercials then. Some nights I hear him trying to speak. His voice sounds so scary. Is that all? Apparently that's all that's written here. Okay. So I forget already because I was staring at that for so long. I probably do go down there, but I want to see what's out here first. If I can go this way. Nope. That's probably the... Wait a minute, no, I'm on... I'm not on the ground level. That wouldn't be the exit. Hi, neck tube guy, I hear you. Don't. No. I don't want anything to do with you. Not that you're a bad person, soul, whatever. You might be, but I don't I don't care. I mean I mean you no harm. What? What? What is that? Is that a phone warning? Is it like that damn Nokia? Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a call bell! Uh... 501. All the other numbers are... Probably the same, but scratched off. That's the only... Okay. Something tells me I need to go to room 501. Wherever that may be. Was that one of these doors? Let's find out. 505, 504... Okay, so five, that would mean 503, 502, 501 would be... Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, hi. 501. Oh god. It's that ritual candle that dick dude was wanting me to... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Grab that first. I have a feeling Doge Boy is going to be, uh... in for a... unpleasant time. Sorry, I couldn't think of anything better to say for that. Today I can finally leave this hospital. It is also the saddest day since I came here. That old guy. He died of an asthma attack. 
The woman just stood there looking at his body. It seemed like forever before the nurse finally took the body away. The woman's face was expressionless. She didn't cry, no tears, only her eyes seemed to speak. They were the eyes of someone filled with sorrow. I can't help but feel sad for her. Well, I don't blame the woman, because... Oh, that's not creepy at all. Faceless funeral picture. Um... This is going to get me killed, or at least chased, like the other chapters, isn't it? This might be a long episode. But... Um, I guess I need to find a candle and light it. Well... We'll try that on the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed what you saw here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and let me know what you think in the comments. That's the one I was forgetting. <laughs> Until next time, hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully, it'll be.